on the last video. Those drugs are bullshit! And so it continues. The drugs have worn off, and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Yes, you do. Kind of. Hi. You're still standing there. I need to get to the doctor. Where is the doctor? The toilet doctor? Ooh. Open lid. What is in the toilet? Look at. It's rather filthy. Flush. Use. I'm dying for a wee ever since I woke up. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Hey! Wipe your vagina! That's not an option. But okay. Flush. You don't- Yes you do! Oh wait, wait, I'm sorry, flash. <laughs> ah, I thought she was rebelling against actually- <laughs> Ah, whatever. Anyway, can I fucking do anything here? Use that? Can I use this? A clog it- What the? That actually worked finally? Oh, <gasps> I can flood it! Do it. Pee on the things! Don't pee on the things, but flush it again. Perfect! Why did I do that? Because fuck the man, apparently. Seriously, why did I do that? Flush. There's no need to flush again. Did something, like, come out or something? What was the whole point of that? The clothes lid? Now we need to put these gloves... Why did you put the gloves there? What's the reason? The flush? Use? Look at? It's rather filthy, but... What? You said you did it for a reason, but what is the reason? Is... What? What did you do? Do I do the bell now? Lady! I made an accident. Kind of. A little bit. Yep, Someone is she's coming. gonna fix my mess. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Ah, oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. Murder her! Just smash her head against the toilet. <gasps> oh! I can... I can do, go do other things while she's doing that. Yeah! Excuse me, you have a good time, lady. I gotta go be a fucking rebel and steal shit. Take. Like, read. It's discharged for Ann Burton, currently a patient inside room one. It seems that she admitted herself to the hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. All she has to do is show this letter to the security guys outside. Take it. Yes, it's exactly what I need to finally go home. And folders. Eggs piled up on... I want to read about Ann Burton. I don't really need any of these. I think I'd rather read a magazine. Oh. Okay. Well, uh... Cool. Maybe I can give this to her? Do you want these? Here. This is my ticket out of here. Unfortunately, it's on Ann Burton's name. I have to somehow trick those guards into thinking I am Ann. We actually do look similar. But I need her thing, though. And something tells me I need to know her mother's name first. Darn. Shall we swap our name bands? Mother always told me not to talk to strangers. I can't take it. I, I'm being good now. Only talk to my nurses and good friends. Oh. I'm gonna guess your mom's name because if I could, I can. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. 
The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Oh, right! That's right. The... when... I was in the bathroom before, it said EIL on the, the... the mirror. And then when I took the drugs, it said SHA, so it's... Yeah. That's the only option they gave me, but still, that's a name. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Uh, something's wrong with this place. Something's wrong with this place. I think it's really nice here. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. I... I saw that heart you're speaking of, by the way. But, uh... Hey, uh... What exactly is this treat you mentioned? What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it, I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! Right. Okay. No. Probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near, and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. I... see... Huh. Um... Well, that... You... Erwin... Swap name bands? How about we swap our name bands? Oh, yeah. I don't mind. But that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Well, technically, you wouldn't lose anything, because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now that is something special. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. Alright. Well, uh, I'll talk to you later, yeah? I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes. Go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Poor woman.
I'm gonna go be naughty to earn the red stuff. Because, fuck that. Oh wait, I can't really do anything over there. Wait, maybe I can. Well then, time to see if I can acquire any, uh, red stuff. That's kind of my whole goal of getting drugged up in the first place. I need it from you, so give me your red things. So hard to concentrate. Is this thing filled with drugs? Yes, I think it might be. You, can I use something like this? Give? Use? Oh, use? Uh, I need to use something on that heart. I just got a feeling deep inside me. But I don't have anything. Shit. I am a stupid motherfucker. If they find it on me, they'll think I'm a complete psycho. But it might be useful too. I'll risk it. God damn. Well, time to get drugged. On my way to finally get things done because I didn't realize I could pick up a shot of glass so I could cut this thing open. Here you go. Just take it. Good job! That's beautiful. Really. Thanks. Yes. So that's filled. Nice! Good! Let's go to bed. We just uh, stole drugs from a beating heart from your dreams. Because that's how reality works. Fucking hell. Get in there, woman. You probably just hurt your head. Eh, you're so doped up, you probably don't even feel it anyway. Hey, crazy lady. I got your fix. Here you go. Take it. I've found the thing you asked me for. But, are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they? You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. Whoa. She's feeling a lot better today, it seems. I guess the red stuff really helped. Hey nurse, um... Fuck you, I'm leaving. Bye. Stupid lady. Hey guys. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, alright. I didn't realize you knew how to read. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. Well, have a nice day, guys. What is this? Sure. That door's locked. Never mind. Okay, how about employee's only door? That's locked, too. Because, well, we're not an employee. Oh. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well, perhaps I am? Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. But luckily, we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. And you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now! I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment.
It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Is that all right? I haven't really got much choice, have I? I could sue them. Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? Well, I apparently have a daughter, but I don't even know them. But, uh... We're in a flat, it's quite lonely at most of the time. I live on my own, it just suits me fine. I live with a friend, and she must be worried sick about me. Well, I should be honest, I rent a flat and it's pretty lonely in there. I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time. I used to like being on my own, but I'm not sure if I still do. Too much time with my thoughts, and no one to talk to. Maybe I should get a parrot. We'd have a little chat each time I feel like opening up. Or maybe you could consider finding friends through our Suicide Watch service. They're very good. Helped a lot of people. Okay. Maybe I will. What do you do for a living? Um... I... Guess I'm in between jobs? Yeah, I'll be in between jobs. I'm between jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and tired most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? Hit the snooze button. Oh, what do we got here? Strong coffee, breakfast, cup of tea, lie in bed awake, can't bring myself to open my eyes, go to the toilet, doesn't everyone? I put the TV on and watch old TV shows. I like this shit. <laughs> no. Ah, this one. I lie in bed, awake. Can't bring myself to open my eyes. I see. I'm scared of the coming day. I know already what'll happen. And what's that, Susan? Nothing, really. Nothing at all happens in this stupid, empty life. Sometimes I wonder why I even get dressed. What for? For who? I hardly ever get out of the flat anyway. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Uh... Yeah, I think so. I... Yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure. If I don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Hedgehog would be pretty good, but uh... Hmm... Let's see... I think... You know, Susan, I really think you could go for a friend. I'm just saying. You seem like the kind of person who just needs one. A good friend. Someone I could finally trust. But I can't see anyone will turn up anytime soon. I've become a social hermit. People avoid me. You'll have to try to open up a bit. Hopefully the suicide watch worker will work with you on that. Don't think it'll help much. I heard they're not very good. Really? Sorry to hear that. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? No, I don't. Never done it. 
No, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? But then I bought her Tempur-Pedic, so now I'm good. But, uh... Yeah. Every night. I take pills for that. There aren't any left now, though. In the light of recent events, I think you should stay off those pills for a while. I suggest you drink some hot milk before bed instead. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? Hmm. Definitely a lot better than before the whole thing went down. Yeah. Definitely better than before the accident. Good. Hopefully you can now move on from here. With a bit of luck you will enjoy life again. Suicide attempts often have that effect on people. Same as near-death experience. It makes you realize that you're not ready to die yet. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Dude, I have ADD. Fuck yeah. Yes. Sometimes. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Do girly drinks count? Th then yeah. Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes, when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? I don't. So, no. No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. But I never used to think about it or plan it. It just happened. As if I'd suddenly lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong, and yet I was unable to stop it. Strange, isn't it? Please, in your own words, try to explain to me, why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? It's just a sudden impulse. I'm ashamed of it now. Nothing was making me happy anymore. I wanted to show everyone how hurt I was deep inside. Yeah, it sounds about right. I wanted to show everyone how hurt I was deep inside. Who did you want to know? I'm not even sure now. People, I guess. Everyone. Myself. I don't really know. Please, ask me about something else. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Hmm. Not anymore. Not anymore. It's strange. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? Video games. But... Hmm. Well, she is a cat lady. And long bath sounds good. She apparently plays the piano. Ooh. Hmm. Options. Well, I like to get naked. A long bath. It's how I relax. A hot, long bath. And a good book. That's the first thing I'll do when I get home. What makes you feel worse? When I lose video games? Hmm. Too much noise is pretty, pretty bad. Oh. Loneliness. I wish I had someone to talk to sometimes. And yet you seem to avoid people. Because they're only interested in themselves. Not all of them, surely. I'm beginning to think you are actually afraid of finding a friend, because it would force you to come out of your shell. Call it what you like. I'll sure be glad when I find the right person someday. Have you imagined your funeral? and how people will react to your death. Mm. Sounds 
sounds about right for Sooth. I imagined it often. I hoped people would feel guilty. But then again, probably no one would come. Mine would be one of those graves covered in weeds and dirt, stuck in the far corner of the cemetery where nobody ever goes. And sad old Susan Ashworth would get forgotten quicker than yesterday's rain. Now, when I think about it, I know that really isn't what I want. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? I had a... What? Ah. Uh -huh. Weird. Uh... I... I'd like you to talk about Eric. But, um... There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to talk about. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We're nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. What? Okay. I'm I in a dream. There. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Hurry! Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. All right. Follow this one. Kind of. The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. All right. Thanks, Liz. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Thanks, Liz. You're a real sweetie. Do we just go... Okay. Accident and emergency? I think I can hear someone coming. Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. We could just like get one of these and put them on our heads and then we'll be like, Hey, we're robots, don't worry about us. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. Okay. Let's do it. Main, main. Oh. Maintenance. Do it. Enter. I hope it does not break while I am on it. That will be so embarrassing. Nope, looks like I'm good. What are we doing on the roof? Liz? Liz? Are we gonna kiss on the roof? What the hell are you doing? Oh, what? And why is there blood on your clothes? Liz? It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. 
Let's both jump. It won't hurt. You'll see. What? It is... Come on, Liz. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story, then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A&D? Yeah, she burned herself. It's, where is it? She smoked a cigarette and burned a bed. Yeah, she smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay, you have listened. Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. No! But I must jump anyway. I have no choice. Wait! Please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me, and we'll just forget this like it never happened, okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? I bet you don't remember that. Yeah, friggin' stripper. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels, when you're trapped, and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care, my family don't care, even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Yeah, Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day? Yes. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. You really listened to everything I said, after all. I... I'll be back. When you need help, I'll be there, Susan. Don't. But right now, it's time for me to let no. go. No. No. Don't. No! Fuck! God damn it, Liz! I wanted to be your friend. After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know... It doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The door is locked. I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. Oh, don't even. You're a clever girl, Susan. But the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. No! What the fuck?